Hey guys, welcome back to Sean's Garden. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about repotting your pepper trees. Uh, today I got three different pepper trees that I want to repot. I want to repot this habanero right here. I want to repot that habanero right there. And I want to repot this scotch bonnet tree that I got from Jamaica. Um, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need some buckets or some containers or some pots, however you want to plant your stuff. Me personally, I like to use these five gallon buckets. I got these at Walmart. They're like $3.96 for a five gallon bucket. When I was uh, first searching for a different pot, I actually found uh, regular pots for like $3.99 and then I found these five gallon buckets for $3.96. So cheaper and bigger. So now my entire garden, I try and keep as uniform as possible with these um, with these containers. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you're repotting your pepper tree is, of course, finding the right type of container that you're gonna wanna use, but you need to make sure it has proper drainage. So I'm actually gonna reuse two pots from other things, and I'm gonna redo a new one. See, this one, I have a bunch of little holes in it, um, which is not good enough for a pepper tree. This one, I just put some holes, some extra holes in it. This is a lot better for a pepper tree because you want as much drainage as possible. And this one doesn't have any. So we got to make some holes. I use a drill bit that is a one inch drill bit. So this is going to give me a one inch uh, hole. And I like to put as many as possible. You can't have enough, to be honest with you. So let's start. Now that I've gotten some holes down at the bottom of the container, I also want to drill one or two different holes uh, on the side as well for some side drainage. So the next big step that you have to have in regards to doing your repotting is the right type of soil. When I first started off doing different pepper trees and planting and replanting and so on and so forth i was using a lot of the miracle grow brand product because it was easily accessible you could find it in any walmart target lowe's home depot whatever now that i've really gotten into this a little deeper i found out that that's really not the best soil to use it doesn't drain as well so i actually found from a local nursery um, some soil like this it's easily uh, draining uh, it's made with different uh, coconut husk and um, it's perfect for the pepper trees. Test to see the height. This is definitely the height that I wanted at. Now that I've placed it inside, of course there's a lot of room around the edges, so now it's time to add some more soil and pack it down and then water it. Now that I've been doing this for a while, I know that it's one full bag of the soil uh, with the fertilizer, the worm castings, the coconut husk. Um, that usually would fit into the five gallon bucket with no problem because again, you're also utilizing the same soil that was in the original three gallon bucket. So it works out pretty well. The only additional thing that I wanna add to this is of course watering it just to make sure and keep everything moist on the inside. But I also want to add um, some mulch on top and what the mulch is going to do is going to allow the moisture to stay inside it allows you to not have to water it as much I probably have to water these trees maybe once a week and you usually know when you need to water it when the leaves start to uh, look like it's dying It 
If this video was helpful, make sure and give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure and subscribe, ring that bell, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Thank you.